Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got a system of three equations with three variables. And our equations are x plus y plus z equal to 6, x square plus y square plus z square equals to 38, and finally x power 3 plus y power 3 plus z power 3 equals to 144 and now we are going to find the value of x y and z and moreover just keep in your mind that x must be less than or equal to y and y must be less than or equal to z and please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and label these equations. I'm going to call the first equation as equation number one, second as equation number two, and the third one as equation number three. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation one. And here I have copied down equation 1. As you can see, let's go ahead and take the square on both sides, on this side and on this side as well. Now let's recall this x plus y plus z whole square formula. And here we have on the right hand side expanded form. And now if we can factor out 2 among these terms we could be write it as 2 times x y plus y z plus z x therefore we are going to expand this left hand side by using this formula so i can write this one as x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times x y plus y z plus z x equals to on the right hand side 6 square is same as 36 and now we can see that this x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 38 from equation 2 so let's go ahead and replace this part by 38 plus 2 times x y plus y z plus z x equal to 36 and now let's go ahead and subtract 38 from both sides this is gone so we got 2 times x y plus y z plus z x equals to simply negative 2 so we got x y plus y z plus z x equal to negative 1 let me go ahead and call this equation as number 4 and here's our next step let's recall this well-known formula x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 times x y z equal to the product of these two polynomials and now we can see on this part we can factor out this negative sign and here in this next step i have factored out this negative sign and we got inside parentheses this part and now we can see that x cube plus y cube plus z cube from equation 3 is 144. I am going to replace it by 144. We know x plus y plus z is equal to 6 from equation 1. And this x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 38 from equation 2. And then this part, xy plus yz plus zx from equation 4 is same as negative 1. So let's go ahead and substitute the value. So this is 144 minus 3 times xyz equal to this is 6 times in the bracket we got this part is 38 minus and this part is negative 1 and now on the right hand side 38 minus and negative 1 is going to give us positive 1 so that comes out to be 39 so let's go ahead and write down 144 minus 
3 times x y z equal to 234 and now let's go ahead and subtract negative 144 on both sides this is gone so we got a negative 3x y z equal to 90 so therefore our x y z value turns out to be negative 30 and now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 5 and here's our next step let's go ahead and consider this equation 4 and here I have copied down equation 4 let's focus on these two terms xy and zx we can see x is in common I can factor that x outside I can write y plus z inside the parentheses and I'm going to write down plus y z equals to negative 1 and now let's recall equation 1 let's go ahead and move this x on the right hand side so we ended up with y plus z equal to 6 minus x so now I can write this equation on the left hand side x times I'm going to replace this y plus z by 6 minus x so I can write in parentheses 6 minus x plus now let's recall this equation 5 I have copied down over here x y z equal to negative 30 let's go ahead and divide both side by x so x and x is gone so y z turns out to be negative 30 divided by x so now I'm going to replace this y z by negative 30 divided by x equals to negative 1 and now let's go ahead and distribute over here so this is 6x minus x square and this is going to become negative 30 divided by x equal to negative 1 we want to remove this fraction so I am going to multiply by x across the board with each and every term we got 6x times x is going to become 6x square minus x power 3 this x and x is gone we got negative 30 equal to negative x and now if we move everything on the right hand side so we are ended up with x cube minus 6x square minus x plus 30 equal to 0 and this is our cubic equation and we're going to solve for x now let's focus on this constant part of this equation which is 30 and we can see that 30 is divisible by all these possible integers now we are going to use the synthetic division to see which one are the possible solution to this cubic equation now let's go ahead and write down the coefficients of this cube equation this is 1 this is negative 6 here's negative 1 and here's positive 30 so let me go ahead and write down 1 negative 6 negative 1 and positive 30 and now let me go ahead and pick negative 2 from here I'm going to write down negative 2 outside and let's go ahead and see whether this is a solution to this uh, equation let's go ahead and perform the synthetic division let me go ahead and bring down this one over here let's cross multiply this one negative two times one is going to give us negative two let's go ahead and add these numbers negative six and negative two is going to give us negative eight let's go ahead and cross multiply this thing negative two times negative 8 is going to give us 16 negative 1 and 16 is going to give us 15 let's go ahead and multiply this one out as well so that's going to give us negative 30 so negative 30 and positive 30 is going to give us 0 so our remainder turns out to be 0 and since the remainder turns out to be 0 that means this negative 2 is indeed is a 0 or sometimes we call it solution 
to this cubic equation. And now let's go ahead and pick positive three. I'm gonna write down a positive three and we're gonna see whether this is a solution to this polynomial as well. Let's go ahead and perform this synthetic division once again. So one comes down over here. Let's cross multiply three. That is going to give us negative five. Let's multiply once again. That is gonna give us negative 15, positive 15 and negative 15 is gonna give us a zero. So our remainder turns out to be zero this time again. And since remainder turns out to be zero, so that means this three is also a zero to this cubic equation. And this time we are going to pick a positive five and perform the synthetic division once again. Let's bring down this one over here, multiply five times one is five and add them up, we're gonna get zero once again, that is our remainder. So thus five turns out to be our another zero to this cubic equation. And now if you try all other integers, they are not going to yield any remainder zero. So therefore, these are our only possible solutions to this cubic equation. So thus we can factor out this cubic equation as x plus two times x minus three times x minus five equal to zero. And if we can separate these one, so we ended up with these three x values as a negative two, x equal to positive three, and x equal to positive five. And now in this next step, let's go ahead and pick the smallest value of x, which is negative two, since as per our conditions, x must be less than or equal to y, and y must be less than or equal to z. And now let's recall this equation one. I have just copied it down over here, x plus y plus z equal to six. I'm going to replace this x by negative two. So we got negative two and then plus y plus z equal to six. If we move this negative two on the other side, so that becomes positive two. So y plus z turns out to be simply eight. Now let's recall this equation five and I have just copied it down x times y times z equal to negative 30. Let's go ahead and replace this x by this negative two. So we got negative two times y z equal to negative 30. And if we divide by negative two, y z turns out to be simply positive 15. And now let me go ahead and call this y plus z equals to eight equation as number six and this y times z equals to 15 as equation number seven. And now let's go ahead and take the square of this equation six on both sides. So, and here's our equation number six. I have just copied down. Let's go ahead and take the square on both sides, this side and on this side as well. And now we are going to use this formula a plus b square to expand the left hand side. So this is going to be y square plus z square plus two y z equal to 64. And we know that this y z is 15. So we got y square plus z square plus two times 15 equal to 64. Four. And now let's go ahead and subtract 30 from both sides. This is gone. So that means y square plus z square turns out to be simply 34. And here's our next step. Let's recall a minus b square formula. So I can write this y minus z whole square. I can expand this thing as y square plus z square minus two y z. And now we can see that y square plus z square equals to 34 and y z is 15. Let's go ahead and substitute those values. So y minus z square turns out to be 34 minus two times 15. 
So that's our y minus z square turns out to be 4. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. So y minus z turns out to be positive or negative 2. And here's our next step. I have separated this y minus z is positive 2 and y minus z equal to negative 2. And we know our y plus z value is 8. I can write y plus z equal to 8 value and y plus z equal to 8 value and let's go ahead and solve for y this is gone so 2y equals to 10 that means y value turns out to be 5 and on this side this negative and negative cancels out so we got 2y equal to 6 so our y value turns out to be 3 so here we got two values of y, y equals to 5 and y equals to 3. Let's go ahead and plug it in this equation 6. And here I have copied down this equation 6 right here, y plus z equals to 8. As you can see, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So y is 5, then plus z equal to 8. So z value turns out to be 3. And now let's substitute y equals to 3 value in this equation. So 3 plus z equals to 8. So our z value turns out to be positive 5. And here we can see that our y value is 5 and z is 3. And according to this condition, z must not be less than y. So therefore, this scenario is rejected and therefore we are going to accept this scenario where y is 3 and z is 5. So thus our x value turns out to be negative 2, y is positive 3 and z is 5 and that satisfies this our given condition. And here's our solution x equal to negative 2, y equals to 3 and z equal to 5. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.